like I'll admit like if I don't play well sometimes like it can like consistently especially over here like like back home here, here's how I view it. Here's the difference between college and what from a newcomer. I think this is, a, this is maybe a good insight here. The difference between college and the pros for me has been hit me like a like a truck because I've been told by Rad, I've been told by all these people like like obviously you're a professional athlete. If you don't do your job, they're gonna get rid of you like that. Like not like that, but like I'm like okay, so I'm coming in this league. This league's get turning pretty pretty good. I'm with a lot. Of, I'm with excellent beings on my team. One of my guys leaving for China. Like, the, the, we're a solid team in, like, a solid, solid league. And I'm like, okay, how long if I don't play well? Because I had, like, three or four practices in a row where I wasn't as good as I wanted to. And it affects, like, you get really, really down, and then I come home. It's nice, but, like, and then I go back, and that can be, I can get anxious on the court and stuff like that. I'm like, I just don't, like, feel the same. You know, back back in college, everyone knows you're good. They're gonna give you way more. They're gonna give you way more room. Everything like, like, and like I said, you, you, there's no time in, in professional, right? You have four years or five years, however you want to take it in college. Here it's like, either do it or they're gonna get someone else because there's 70, 80 other liberos just as good that can take my spot or something like that. You know, they, there's so many other good players out there, and I think that's one thing that I'm learning is like, it's like obviously you got to produce, but also at the same time it's hard like. I'm also, and then I realized, okay, I'm also in a different freaking country. Like, I'm so far away from everything. And just everything kind of swirls at once. And I've never been homesick in my life. Ever. Ever. But for a little time here, I was. And I was, like, really, really down and stuff. And I kind of, I remember today, finally started playing really, really, really well today. And I think one thing I realized, I was like, just smile. Just go out there, just be yourself, and just smile. You know? And I think that's, and I just kept repeating that. And that just kind of helped me through everything, and then just play play a lot better, and just relax too. Like I'm trying to like do all this extra stuff. I'm like, that's just not you. Like, they don't do that. Just do what you're, do what got you there, and get better at that, you know. And then I think that's just one thing that I've noticed. I mean, how is it for you guys at all? I don't know. I mean, your first year, your fourth, what third year now? Joe, it's like I, it's I just I don't even pack, dude. People are like so crazy about when they leave they like throw parties and stuff i'm like all right just, i'm leaving tomorrow i just i packed 30 minutes before i had to come over here well and you know like, i'm the same way yeah for sure it's like all right just back to germany like got here it was so early i don't know it was just, the thing what i think that one of the things was too was just the summer that we had made it so hard to leave it, it made <laughs> it hard to leave for sure because we had so much fun and the life here is just so much different from what we experienced this entire summer I think something that like I really appreciate though about this is like like Gage, like Gage like you're finding out it's like you have no choice but to like grow and you just like even like the little the little lesson that you learned today of like telling yourself to smile and like be yourself or like the little lesson that you learn that like just do what you do you don't learn those like here you're learning a new lesson like every day and like you don't learn those in college because things are just you're not pushed as far out as your of your comfort zone as you think you are and like here i just love like like yeah it's tough to leave hermosa beach where you live with your friends and like super close to your girlfriend and surf every day and like you have a great life and like that's super nice and that's comfort but like then I realized like man I can't wait to be uncomfortable again because you just learn so much and perspective is like so valuable and it's so hard to come by sometimes like you because you can't read about perspective as much as you can like get it from living and learning and just putting time into something and then realizing like wow, I learned so much from this experience. Um, and, like, I'm just stoked to be back over here because it's like, dude, I just remember how much I learn a day and, like, how much new things I'm realizing about myself or about the world or about um, people. And you just get it through such a different lens. Um, and I'm so grateful for that. I think, like, when the, when – it's all said and done and when we get settled down I think we're going to be so grateful for that as well because it's tough always being on the move like we live su out of suitcases and even buying like bedding seems like man I'm just going to have it for a year and then throw it away or like a desk or like, there's no place to put our stuff it's just 
like you're just living like a nomad and that that's tough too but 